Welcome to another episode of What Did God Say? Mm -hmm. Where we address everyday topics from a biblical perspective. Mm -hmm. My name is Dr. Talia Jones. I'm a prophetess to the nations. And with me is Dr. Kathy Jones. She's an evangelist after the heart of God. <laughs> Second Peter chapter 1 verse 3 tells us that God's divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness. Yes. And this is through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Amen. So today we are here to get to know what God has to say about these last days, these troubling times, or also known as mm. perilous times. Amen. But before we get started, let us pray. Dear Father God, we bless your holy name and we thank you and praise you for your goodness. We thank you, God, that you are sovereign. You are in control, Lord God. Nothing catches you off guard or by surprise, Lord God. And so we're asking, Lord God, that you would teach us, Holy Spirit. Teach us your ways. Teach us your word. Help us to get a better understanding and clarity about what's going on around us, what's going on in our lives, Lord God. And then lead us, oh God, in the ways of righteousness for your name's sake, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we ask that you would edify your people, that you would be glorified and the devil be terrified. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So again, we're talking about these troubling times, these perilous times, or also known as the last days. Amen. 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 Perilous means danger. Amen. Mm -hmm. Risk, risky or danger. So there's a lot of things that's going on uh, around the world. Amen. And so guess what? The Bible talks about it. Amen. So we thank God. He has given us everything we need for this situation and for every Amen. situation through his word as we get to know him. So Amen. Dr. Kathy, mm. what did God say about these troubling times? Mm. In 2 Timothy 3, he lets us know that men will be lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. Yeah. And he also said that there will, men would have a form of godliness, yeah. but will deny the power of God. Yeah. Amen. From such, such type of people turn away. Yeah. But you know, we're not blindsided. Right. You know, right. um, we, we see it. Yeah. We see that men are love lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God and how proud and boastful and unthankful and unholy, yeah. you know, and how so many have lack of control and mm -hmm. are liars and, and folks even despise folks that are, that, that are trying their best to do good. Yeah. Amen. That's yeah. why we not, we should think it not strange when we go through various trials and tribulations. Yes. It's all to test our faith. Mm -hmm. And he said, these things will be those that live godly. You will suffer persecution. Yes. Amen. You be of good courage because God got you. Yeah. Amen. The enemy might be trying to, he's running rapid. Amen. Yeah. But he, he's limited. Yeah. It might seem like he's not limited, but he's limited. Yes. Amen. He's limited. Yeah. It's so true. Like these these trials and tribulations mm -hmm. that we go through, it, that's the key word, trial. Amen. A trial is yes. a, a period. It's, it's a period of time. There is a beginning and there's an end. Yes. Amen. Yes. So these things are temporary. Amen. Mm -hmm. These situations are temporary. I, yes. know, I know the pain is real and, mm -hmm. you know, um, things are troubling, but we don't just go into, we don't have to go into despair because we have hope. We're not like others who don't have hope. As a believer, we have hope, yes. and our hope is found in Christ. Mm. Amen. But we're going to dive even more into these last days. Amen. So in Matthew chapter 24, I'm looking at the New Living Translation. Amen. I'm just going to skip around because it's a lot in there. Mm -hmm. But in verse, I'm going to go to verse uh, 4. So Matthew 24, 4, Jesus told them, don't let anyone mislead you. Amen. For many will come in my name claiming I am the Messiah. They will deceive many and you will hear of wars and threats of wars or another translation says rumor of wars, mm -hmm. but don't panic. Don't panic. Yes, these things must take place, but the end won't follow immediately. Amen. Nation will go to war against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes yes. in many parts of the world. But all this is only the first of the birth pains with Amen. more to come. 
The King James translation says, all these are the beginning of sorrows. Yes. Amen. So what yes. we see in today's times, mm -hmm. amen, we see war right now. There's a war between Russia and Ukraine. Amen. There's also rumors of wars go with, I know, the U.S. and, and uh, Asia, countries in Asia. So there's things that are going on. The This mm -hmm. chapter continues on. It says, then you will be arrested, persecuted, and killed. You will be hated all over the yes. world because you are my followers. Yes. Amen. So we see that these wars, rumors of wars, folks claiming that they're the Messiah, just uh, people being deceived, a lot of things going on. These yes. are just the beginning of sorrow. Beginning of sorrow. So Jesus is saying, I need you to buckle up. I need you to put on your safety belt and because this is about to be a crazy ride. Amen. Mm -hmm. A lot of trouble things are not only already here, but there's more to come. Amen. Yes. And that should, um, mm. we shouldn't be afraid though, because mm. the Bible tells us to, you know, rejoice, you know, even though you're going through, count it all joy as you're mm. going through these various trials. Yes. Why? Not because of these bad things that are happening mm. are joyful, but because we know that the sooner these things get over with, the sooner Jesus Christ will come yes. and he'll do away with this sin and he'll do away with, with this wickedness. He will bring the punishment and we get to reign with him amen so it's 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 the thing like he says here in this translation these are the first of the birth pangs you know when a woman goes into labor with her child amen you know you they feel the contractions hitting amen but as soon as they come it's like okay i know that the end is near yeah. i can get excited because yeah. hey it's time you know the baby is coming yes Got to go through that pain. Don't know about how long you might go through that. It could be a couple of minutes. It could be several hours, you know, a day, day and a half, whatever. But you know that once that first contraction hit, hey, the baby is on its way. And, Amen. And so that means something great is going to happen. Yes. You know, one day, you know, we, in the, we, uh, he said, you know, I, I remember asking God, Lord, what's, what's going on with this pandemic? Mm -hmm. You know, he said, it's, it's not the end. Yeah. It's just the beginning of sorrows. Yeah. It's the beginning of sorrows. And like she was saying, and when it comes to a baby, you you um the labor pains hit, but you don't have any idea when that joy is gonna show up. Yeah. When that bundle of joy is gonna show up. It's yeah. gonna take away all that pain. Yeah. You know, and it's for us that are believers, you know, we it's the beginning of sorrows. Yeah. It's, it's it's getting ready to get us to the end. Yeah. You know, it's going to get us to the point where he's going to crack that sky. Amen. And we're going to yeah. be caught up to meet him in the air. Yeah. So we, he told us in, in John 14 and 1, let not your heart be troubled. Amen. Ye believe in God. This is Jesus speaking. He said, believe in me. Yeah. He said, believe in me. I got something prepared for you. Yes. You know, I got a mansion prepared for you. So, yeah. you know, some people are panicking. They're really, really scared. Yeah. You know, because some know it's, the, you know, they feel like it's the end. Right. And for some, it is the end because some pass. Right. Yeah. You know, that we, some of us pass. Yes. But God said, nevertheless, let that, if you're a believer, you, you are right. Yeah. You are right. And, and if you're living by faith. Yes. You know, you trust me, you you are right. Yes. But Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God and believe in me. Amen. Believe in me. We are this is not the end, but this is the beginning of labor pains. This is the beginning of sorrows. Yeah. Amen. But just think about after when you when you especially if you're a woman, oh oh man, your your the birth of your child. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's one of the most happiest times in your life. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you see that bundle finally here, pain stops. Mm -hmm. When Jesus cracked that sky, pain stops. Amen. Amen. And what a glorious morning. What a glorious day. In Romans chapter 8, mm -hmm. it says uh, around verse 17, the bottom of verse 17, it says, but we, if we are to share his glory, yes. we must also share his suffering. Yes. But verse 18 said, yet what we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory he will yes. reveal to us later. And that, that scripture goes on and says, all creation is waiting. It's groaning yes. and moaning. It's like, oh, everybody's waiting. Everybody, all the creation. I mean, you know, from human beings to yes. plants to animals, everybody's like, everybody's when will this waiting. suffering, this pain, this, this, when will it be over? When will God's 
children be revealed. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because all God's children are going to be revealed when Jesus Christ returns. Amen. And every eye shall see. Yes. And every yes. tongue will confess. Amen. Every knee shall bow. Yes. Amen. Amen. Confessing that Jesus is Lord. He will crack that sky. Yes. He will. He will crack that sky. He will. I, uh, yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Oh, and I just want to also say in the latter days or in, this, in these perilous times, Timothy 4 and 1 talks about some shall depart from the faith. Mm. Amen. Listening um, or heeding to seducing spirits. Mm. You know, we, we are spirits. Yeah. And we're in a spiritual world. Yeah. Amen. And I, I love, we can't see spirits, but God can. Yeah. And I, I, that's why it's good to be on the Lord's side. Mm -hmm. Because he can see these seducing spirits. And yeah. these, these spirits are here to, 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 to falsely teach us. To brought because he the devil know where he's going. Mm -hmm. He wants some company. Mm -hmm. He wants some company. First uh, Timothy four and one says, in these latter times, some shall depart from the faith. They're going to give heed to seducing spirits mm -hmm. and doctrines of devils, mm -hmm. which speak lies in hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. Amen. We just be careful. Stay focused. Yeah. Stay focused. Stay no focused. matter. We are in some terrible times. Amen. Yeah. We are in some perilous times. But stay focused. You are right. Yeah. You're safe. Yes. Amen. You're yes. safe. If you're living by faith, you're safe. Yes. Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe everything that's written. It is written. So we don't. If, so if you forget it, go yeah. back to the manual. Yes. He'll tell you all over again. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's so true. You know, and, and and during these troubling times, he said it's the beginning of sorrow. Yes. So it's sorrow upon sorrow. Yes. And we can easily think like, oh, when will this end? And we just have to wait on the Lord. Amen. Yes. And even in the midst, when our heart gets broken, amen, the Bible tells us that God is near to the brokenhearted. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he rescues those who are crushed in spirit. Yes. Amen. Or another translation might call it a contrite spirit. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you can see that in Psalms 34. Yeah. God cares. And yes, that's why he, he tells us to cast yes, our cares upon him. Amen. And then Paul in uh, Philippians chapter four, he was like, you know what? I've learned to be content mm -hmm. in Christ. Amen. He's like, I know what it's like to have plenty. I know what it's like to have want. Amen. No being matter lack. State. And, you know, whatever is going on, mm -hmm. I have learned to be content. And yes. In another place, he said, hey, I count everything that I've gained, I've counted all as loss mm -hmm. to gain Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we have to make sure that Jesus Christ is what we value. Yes. Amen. Above all things, mm -hmm. above all possessions, mm -hmm. even above our own family. Mm -hmm. Like Jesus has to become the more because things can come, come and go. Like Job talked about. You know, God gives and God takes away, yeah. but I will bless. He said, but blessed be the name of the Lord. We have to learn that even if we hit those troubling times, troubling times hit our homes, we have to be in a posture of worship. Amen. We have to be in a posture of faithfulness because God, he blesses us. And if that blessing gets taken away, are we going to fall apart? I pray that we don't. Mm -hmm. Amen. But we, we cling to God Almighty mm -hmm. because all things truly do work together for the good. Mm -hmm. Amen. And again, just thinking about Job, if you look through that book of Job, oh my goodness, yeah. he lost it all. And it wasn't because he was a bad person. Mm -hmm. The Bible said he was an upright man. Yes. Amen. He was blameless in the, in the yes. land. And God was even bragging on him to Satan. He said, have you considered my servant? See, it, so same when like, you know what, take that hedge of protection around and I'll show you, mm -hmm. he'll turn on you. So God allowed Satan to trouble Job. Yes, he did. Amen. And think about it. He had, I think he lost 10 children. Yeah. You know, I mean, sometimes it's a test. Yeah. You know, God, he knows, he loves us all. And just because sometimes some lose children don't mean they was a bad person. Right. Amen. Right. Job lost 10. Yeah, he did. But God bragged on him. He said, he asked Satan, have you considered, you want to harass somebody? Have you considered Job? Because mm -hmm. I know Job won't turn on me. Yeah. You know, some people turn on jo on God if they lose something that precious yeah. in their life. Yeah. Amen. If they lose their health. They lose a family member. Yeah. They'll turn on God. Amen. Yeah. But Job, God knew. God know us. Amen. Yeah. 
Like he tells us to know those that labor among us. God mm -hmm. knows us. Yeah. He knows that we're nothing but dust. That's why he has so much mercy. Yeah. That's why his mercies are, are renewed every morning mm -hmm. towards us. He knows who we are and what we're capable of. Yeah. Job was an upright man. He was. You're talking about he went through something. But nevertheless, yes. Job, um, he was rewarded greatly. He was. Because he was faithful no matter what. Yes. And then when he was complaining about, because he was going through so much that he didn't understand, he never once talked about his children. Mm -hmm. um, he never once talked about his, he just was like, oh, I'm so miserable, I could die. Mm. I mean, his friends talk foolishness, but nevertheless, the point is, I'm trying yeah. to say is, Job was in some terrible times. He was. He, he was in some terrible times, but he stayed focused. He did. No matter what, he stayed focused. He did. Job lost a lot. He, he lost his his livestock was stolen. His servants were murdered. Yes. Fire from heaven came and and burnt up his sheep and some servants. Mm -hmm. So natural disasters had hit. Folks had raided him. Like like um, Dr. Kathy said, he, mm -hmm. he lost all his, his children in like a tornado type situation. Amen. The building collapsed on them. His friends falsely accused him. Oh now he's having marital problems because his wife is like, why don't you just curse God and die? Mm -hmm. So he's having all these different things. And guess what Job's response was? Wow. He worshiped. Yes, he did. He tore his clothes and he got down on his knees and he worshiped. And he stayed faithful, even though, you know, everybody, his wife was like, you should turn on him, turn on God. His friends was falsely accused and everything was lost. Mm. And then he lost his health because he had boils from yes. head to toe. He still remained mm. faithful. Oh my goodness. In Job 13, 15, he says, though he slay me, yes. yet will I trust him. Amen. Job recognized that God had allowed this mm. on him and he didn't know why because he's like I've been upright yes. I've been trying to do my best been faithful. to be faithful to you God mm. and this is what's happening so even though he's like yet yeah, will I trust him by the end of that uh, in Job chapter 42 verse 5 the easy read says in the past I heard about you Lord but now I have seen you with my own eyes oh my. so through it all Job came to recognize like, you know, before I had just heard about the goodness mm. of the Lord, the faithfulness of the Lord. I just heard that he was close to the brokenhearted. I just heard that he would, he would, he would rescue the contrite mm. spirit. I just heard about it, but now I've seen it. I've witnessed it. I've experienced it for myself. Amen. And mm. God restored Job. He helped, um, he restored the, his friendships mm. and he used Job to help his friends get back to God. Amen. Amen. He restored twice. He gave him twice as much as he had before. He restored all 10 of his babies. He gave him 10 children. Amen. And then he lived an additional 140 years. Mm -hmm. Amen. On top of that. So God had blessed him because he remained faithful. And Amen. if we remain faithful in these troubling times, amen, the Holy Spirit is here to help us. Amen. Mm -hmm. in, in Romans 8, 26, it says the Holy Spirit will help us in our weaknesses. Mm -hmm. So he is here to help us through these times. Amen. But stay faithful no matter what trouble mm -hmm. has hit your home, your life. Amen. Mm -hmm. Not all of it is because you're doing something wrong. If you are sinning, amen, repent, go and sin no more. Amen. But if it, but either way, mm -hmm. stay faithful to God. Bless the Lord. And in Hebrews 10, 22 to 23, it says, hold fast your faith. Mm -hmm. You know, hold fast your faith. The things that you were taught, the things that you learned, the things that you saw, yeah. amen, that you experienced, that, that, that caused you to give your heart to Christ and, and, and get converted, hold on to it. Hold on. Things that you know. Yeah. Romans 8.28 says, and we know that all things that are going to work together for our good. Yeah. Amen. If you're a believer and you love the Lord, I, I, I promise you. It's whatever you have to experience, you're going to benefit from it. Yeah. You're going to benefit from it. God is in control. Yeah. He's in control. Even though he, whatever he allow, amen, trust me, he's still in control. Yes. It's, a, it's for a reason. It, ha it has been written before time began. Yes. Amen. Just know that God is in control. Yes. Amen. And these are just the beginning of sorrows. Amen. You know, some people are like, well, when is the end? When is the end? 
I'm telling you. He said, just like we can tell the weather. Mm -hmm. You can see that dark cloud from way back over there in the sky. No, it's getting ready to be a thunderstorm. Mm -hmm. It's gonna, we're gonna get some rain. Amen. He, yeah. he, we, he, we got some times here. Yeah. You, we got some times, uh, uh, um, some perilous times, telling us that okay, yeah. it ain't the end. Yeah. But it is the beginning. Yes. It's the beginning of the end. Yes. Amen. It's the beginning. That baby gonna come soon. Yes. It ain't the end. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Uh, uh, but it's the beginning of 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 the end. Yeah. But but I, we ought to let not our heart be troubled. Yeah. Believe God. Amen. Yeah. Believe God. Make sure that we we just in the we're in the faith. Yeah. And that we don't have that form of godliness that he's talked about. Yeah. Make sure that you are in the faith and that you have made your calling and election sure. Mm -hmm. Without a shadow of doubt, you're not ashamed of the gospel. Amen. You know that it is the power of God unto yes. salvation. You're not ashamed. So when Jesus get the, you get to heaven, he don't before God and the angels, he don't have to be ashamed of you. Yeah. Make sure you're not ashamed. Yeah. Make sure that you're walking upright. Yeah. Amen. He said that road that we have is narrow. Yeah. Watch your step. Yeah. Watch your tongue. Amen. Keep yeah. your heart pure. Yeah. You know, guard your heart. Amen. Keep unforgiveness out. Keep bitterness out. Amen. Yeah. Be a, a, a instant forgiver. Yeah. People are gonna hurt you. Yeah. People are gonna slam you. Yeah. And especially if you walk up right. The Bible says they'll in during this time there'll be haters of those that do good. Yeah. He said it. He said, during these perilous times, there will be people hating you without a cause. Right. Hating yeah. you without a cause. But yeah. let not your heart be troubled. Yeah. Know the times. Amen. Yeah. Well, learn, like Paul said, learn to be content no matter what you're going through. And know that everything that you experience, you're going to benefit from it. Yeah. And know this also. That just because things are lawful, don't join in with it. Right. Because just because the law says you can do this, mm -hmm. don't mean it's, 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 it's beneficial right. for your life. Right. Amen. You yeah. Know, and what's y'all, you, I think y'all said the other day, if it's a yesterday in Sunday school, just because it's a good thing don't mean it's a godly thing. Right. You know, measure yeah. that thing against the word. Yes. You know, don't get caught up into what the times. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You know, don't talk foolish like Job's wife. Just curse God and die. That's foolishness. Mm -hmm. Why would I curse the one that can help me? Yeah. Just because I don't understand what's going on. Right. And then he said, lean not to your own, own understanding. Yeah. Just acknowledge me yeah. in all your ways, and I promise I'll direct your path. Yeah. You don't know what to do. You need some wisdom. Ask That's for God. it. Yeah. You know, ask for it. Yeah. You know, ask for it. Yeah. That is, is so important. That's so important. You know, so we are in troubling times. We if This is the beginning of Star Wars, so we still got some ways to go. In Matthew chapter 24, again, it kind of walks down a couple of things that we need to see. So we know we're already seeing wars and rumors of wars mm -hmm. and, um, you know, there's a lot of other things that are going on. But we also need to see heavy persecution on the church. Mm -hmm. Some parts and pockets of the world are seeing it. But it needs to be on a grand scale, amen, all over where we really, everybody's hating Christians, mm -hmm. amen. So the Bible says that we need to see that. And then he says, and then after that, um, in verse 29, immediately after the anguish of those days, the sun will be darkened, the moon will give no light, the stars will fall mm -hmm. from the sky, and the powers uh, in the heavens will be shaken. So... Then we got to see things happen in the, the galaxies and the cosmos and mm -hmm. stuff. Like, so we got to see certain things really happening. Uh, amen. We get glimpses, but we haven't seen this really happening all over the world. And then at last, the sign of the Son of Man, which is Jesus, is coming, will appear in the heavens. Amen. So at when it's fine, when Jesus is finally ready to turn, you will actually see it in the in the sky. Amen. Mm -hmm. And and this won't be just a couple of people see it. This will be everybody will see Jesus return. Amen. Everybody will see and, it. And, and can I just add in Daniel's twelve, mm -hmm. it also talks about knowledge shall increase. Mm -hmm. We know that. Oh yeah. We are smarter than ever now. Yes. Amen. We done figured out a lot of stuff. Yes. God done empowered and equipped us with a lot of knowledge. Amen. Yes. We have to be careful because knowledge will puff you up. Yeah. But nevertheless, it's love. Yeah. And will cover a multitude of sins. Yeah. But just remember that he said knowledge will increase. You see it. Mm -hmm. Amen. He, uh, he also said in Daniel's 
um, 9, he going to confirm his promise and his covenant mm -hmm. for, for, for a period to yeah. us. Amen? Yeah. He, you know, he's going to confirm his, uh, he's going to cause these, I will say, fake sacrifices, mm -hmm. you know, to cease. Yes. He's gonna confirm to us that I got you, it's all right. Yes. And he's gonna stop these these false sacrifices and obligations. He's gonna stop it. Amen. What he's saying is, you know, there are some people that sacrifice, but they but, but they they sacrifice money, mm -hmm. they sacrifice stuff, and they'll even sacrifice time mm -hmm. for us far as they'll go and help the poor, mm -hmm. they'll give money to the church, mm -hmm. but they just won't give their life. Mm -hmm. God said, I need your life. I need your life as a living sacrifice. Yeah. Jesus was our example. He gave his life. He needed our life. Mm -hmm. Because that's what that's what belongs to him. Amen. Yeah. Amen. One last thing Amen. I want to say is, and also there's a time that's going to come where he's going to end rebellion and sin. Yeah. It's going, he's going to bring it to an end. Amen. 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 Uh, in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8, it talks about, we are pressed on every side by troubles. But we are not crushed. Amen. We are perplexed, but not driven to despair. We are hunted down, but never abandoned by God. Mm. We get knocked down, but we are not destroyed. Through Amen. suffering, our bodies continue to share in the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be seen in our bodies. Amen. Amen. And the last thing I have is Psalms 27, verse 13 through 14 says, I would have lost heart. Or the King James Version says, I would have fainted. Amen. Unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of mm. the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord. Be of good carriage and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Bless Amen. the Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. And, and with that, that concludes our, our episode today on troubling times or perilous mm. times. Amen. And so we just pray that you would stay encouraged and stay faithful because only those who endure to the end shall be saved. Amen. Bless the Lord. So Bless stay the Lord. focused, stay encouraged, and keep on fighting a good fight of faith. Bless the Lord. Amen. And beloved, I wish upon all things that you may prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you that you are our God and you are in control. I thank you that all things will work together for our good. I thank you, Lord God, that you know each and every one of us by name. In the mighty name of Jesus. And you have a purpose for each and every one of us. God, let not our heart be troubled. Help us just to believe in you and to believe in your son. And to walk and live by your Holy Spirit. God, bless your people. Build them up where they're torn and strengthen them where they're weak. Let us not be moved by what's going on. Let our hearts not be troubled. We thank you so much for giving us a heads up. For giving us a glimpse of what, uh, of, of what the end or what the sorrows look like. God, yes. we don't have an excuse. But we just thank you for loving us, keeping us, leading us, guide us. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless. God bless.